future value with monthly compounding period. Sam deposits $700 in an investments saving account. The annual interest rate is 4.5% compounded monthly. Determine the amount after 7 years. Now we know future amount A should be equal to present amount times 1 plus interest rate to the power of N. Now in this formula, P is the initial amount invested, which is $700 in this case, right? P is $700. Now I is decimal value of rate of interest during the compounding period. Now in this case the rate of interest is 4.5 percent that means 4.5 divided by 100. Now compounded period is monthly this is per annum. So it is 4.5 percent I should have written per annum compounded monthly. So that is kind of a correction it's kind of important to understand. So 4.5 percent is the interest rate for a year but when you compound it monthly, it should be charged one twelfth of this, right? That's what it means. 4.5% per annum compounded monthly. So let's calculate this value. It is 4.5 divided by 100 divided by 12, which gives us a value of 0 0.00375. So that is the value of I. Now n is number of times it is compounded. So in seven years, since it is being compounded monthly, it will be compounded seven into twelve times, right? Seven into twelve times, which is eighty-four times. So that is the value of n. It's kind of very important to understand the significance of each variable here, right? Now we can calculate the future value a as equal to P is 700, 1 plus I is 0 0.00375 and N is 84. Correct? So we can use the calculator, find the answer. The 700, 1.00375 to the power of 84. Right? So let's calculate the answer. 700 into 1.00375. 375 to the power of 84 which is equal to 958.616 958.616 so I'll round it to 62 so that is the value right so therefore the future value after seven years is going to be dollars so we can write down our answer as dollars 958.62 so that is how the question should be done. Now let's go through it once again. In the formula, P is the amount invested, which is 700. I is interest during the compounding period. Since the compounding period was monthly, we have to divide this by 12 also. That's kind of very important. And since the compounding period is monthly, the number of times it gets compounded gets multiplied. 7 years means 7 times 12. So that is how I and N values are calculated. And then we calculate the future value. I hope that's very clear to you. Thank you and all the best.